Tom is my biggest hero from that era for sure. And that's basically shaped by my personal interaction with him. He's been um, such a humble and inspiring person. He has got to be one of the most good-hearted people I've ever met in my life. I mean, the first time I met him, I knew who Tom Frost was, but I had never met him, and he started his company, Frostworks, and he was at the trade show one year. He had a small booth, and him and Joyce were hanging out there, and he knew of me. I saw Tom Frost, so I wasn't about to go up to him and talk to him, because I was, it was, he was Tom Frost. I was like a teenager, and so I walked by, and he actually knew who I was, which, first of all, that was such a huge moment for me. I'm like, whoa, Tom Frost actually knows who I am. And he pulled me over and I was with my dad as well. And um, we sat down and just talked for 20 minutes or something. And, and I came away kind of um, dumbfounded by the whole experience. The fact that he was even aware of what was going on nowadays in climbing blew my mind and that he would take the time to um, just talk to somebody like me it was pretty cool. Tom's photos shaped my idea of what the golden age was. So many of his photos tell huge stories and make me kind of fantasize about what it must have been like to climb back then. The times that I've heard Tom speak, he has a way of forming ideas in a concise and very impactful way. I mean, I went to this meeting in Austria where there was the best climbers from all around the world coming together to basically create a document about climbing ethics and conservation. And Tom gave a five minute speech at that conference that said more than everybody else in the whole conference combined, I would say. I mean, Tom is such a symbol of everything that's good in climbing. Uh, he is my idol because not only because of his vision of what it should be, but I think everybody looks at Tom and thinks that that is kind of the height of what you should try to achieve to be like.